eine Zivilisation wurde auf dem Rücken entbehrlicher Arbeitskräfte erbaut. Aber ich kann nur so viele machen. This is a sequel to one of the most iconic sci-fi movies in the 80s. Blade Runner from Ridley Scott. Was it like, what was the most difficult um, yeah, thing you had to manage with the sequel? Uh, the most difficult, there was a lot of difficult things. A lot of them. But ab apart from the technical uh, aspect of it, I, I will say that uh, two things. The first, to, to, um, to find my way in someone else's dream, because it's a, it's a Ridley Scott universe. So how to make this universe mine, that was a, a big challenge. And then after that, uh, uh, honestly, the, the, how to, where, how, how, where I will, this, how I will depict, how, how I will uh, recreate the character of Rick Dickard, played by Harrison Ford, in the future, you know? It's a character that uh, we saw 35 years ago, and now uh, where, where will it be, he, he be? How will he be? Uh, what will be his uh, mental state? Uh, uh, um, that was a, a, a challenge for me. Es gibt eine Ordnung der Dinge. Und das tun wir hier. Wir sorgen für die Ordnung. You're playing in Blade Runner a replicant that's called Love, right? I can't answer that question. So maybe she is a replicant. I cannot answer the question. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, Computer says no. Computer, Computer says, says yes. <laughs> you never know. But could you tell us something about your character? Um, yes. What I can tell you is my name is Love, and I work for Neander Wallace and his company, and I'm his right hand in the film. And their relationship is very complex uh, in a sense that it is intense and conflicted, and um, she is in awe of him and will do anything in the whole world for him. Um, that's a very important aspect of her character, I think. And another one is that she is in search for her true identity, like many others in the film. Du bist ein Cop. Ich hatte mal deinen Job. Ich war gut darin. Ich weiß. Your character is actually a new character in this in this whole universe. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell us a little bit more about Joy? Is it Joy? Joy, I think, is going to be a big, big surprise in the movie. Uh, it's something that I've um, I've never seen before in a, in another movie. Um, and I, uh, she's a she's a very she's a very complex character, and she has a beautiful arc. The point where you meet her. To the the point that you know when she ends in the movie, it's you know completely different. You see her learning and transforming and and processing everything, and she's you know the only person that Officer K can trust and talk to about all what's going on, what he's going through. So she's kind of the light at the end of the tunnel for him, and she's there to point out some details that he might be missing mm. or things he doesn't want to see on purpose because those answers might, you know, destroy everything that he believed in. So she's kind of like pushing him. But she's a replicant, right? Everybody's so creepy about that question. <laughs> Are <laughs> so you a replicant? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no, it's, 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 really, it's really uncomfortable asking that question, but everybody is like, I, I mean, know. I think all the characters in the movie are so multi-layer and complex mm. that just to call them replicants or humans would be like a kind of sad, sure way of labeling them, you know, like mm. name them. There is not much of a difference right now. They feel the same. They have emotions. They have. They want to leave. They, you know, they probably show more empathy sometimes and compassion than a real human. The only difference is the way they come to the world, but the rest is pretty much the same, so... You don't know anything about me. Was willst du? Ich will dir ein paar Fragen stellen. So, um, I saw in the few clips that I saw, uh, I saw so many imp inspiration from, I don't know, Ghost in the Shell, Akira, and many, many more, and 
Blade Runner back in the days was an inspiration for a subgenre of the sci-fi cyberpunk, um, the cyberpunk genre. But what was your inspiration for your film? Frankly, yeah, when you make a movie, uh, specifically like uh, science fiction, I'm sure that people might see references that are not like, uh, uh, you know, I'm not a, a fan of Ghosts of in the Shell at all. I don't know that universe uh, uh, that, that much, okay? Uh, but I um, I am a, a fan of Akira. Um, I am a, a fan of a, of a um, source of inspiration that Ridley had when he made the first movie, which are like a graphic novelists, mm -hmm. like Moebius, like Bilal, like Drouillet, Mezier, uh, uh, people that uh, uh, filled my dreams when I was a, a teen, you know, uh, when I was a kid. And, and, and uh, I went back to uh, those uh, source of inspiration. When uh, uh, I like when you, make a, when you want to make something uh, new, the, the, the good idea is always to go back, way back in the past. Du bist besonders. Deine Geschichte ist noch nicht vorbei. Eine Seite fehlt noch. 